Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'll be playing through the Liberation of Reichberg. This is a new game by Cosmos, and I'll be playing through using three out of the six heroes that are included in the game to see if I can hold back the darkness and save the town before the dragon shows up. I also did a teaching video that I'll have a link up in the top corner, so if you'd like to learn how to play the game, I can teach you how to play as well. So as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content. If you want to stay updated on all my videos, also considering that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table and we'll see how things go. So moving into the game, the first thing I want to point out is that I did not use any of the difficult enemies in this as I just want to show you more of how the game plays in that. From there, I chose three of the more difficult heroes to use as well. So let's go ahead and move into the game. And I will start off with my character over here, Era, going first. And she is going to play... I'm going to go ahead and play this one. Let's me choose two of my spell books to use. So I'm going to start off with a attack one and do one attack as the Fluger is the only one out right now. And he is only one enemy to kill or one point to kill. Then it says, after a victorious battle, I can turn over one top face down encounter card. So I'm going to choose one anywhere I want to. So I'm going to go up here and select that one. And we have another one up there. Okay, so then he goes into my victory glory pile. And then I have another action to choose from still, but I can also choose to pick up this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and add that to my hands as a free action. And then I will go ahead and reveal a new location as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And it's another Fluger. Okay, on to my Archer to go. So with her, I will... I'm going to go ahead and do a move action. And I'll also get, gain a Quiver. So I'm going to choose this one here. And it's a six, nice. And then I can move. So I am going to, I'm gonna move over here. Then it's going to be my guardian's turn. So let's see what I wanna do with her. I'm gonna go ahead and play this one. Let's me place out my water spirit and I can choose to flip over a card. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip over this one here and then I'll place my water spear out. I gotta choose which side so I can either have her attacks multiplied by two or I can give plus two to any person at a location. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it over here for now as there's not a lot of cards there as well and I'm trying to get through some of the locations that have a lower amount of cards to see what kind of tasks we have to accomplish here. All right, so her turn is done. Back over to my sorceress to go. And with her, I am going to play this one here. Let's me use two more spell books. So I'm going to start off with my ranged attack. So I'm going to go ahead and play that one to take out this Fluger here. And with that, it says, uh, after a victorious battle, I can turn over one top task card at any location of my choice. So I get to choose one at any location. So let's go ahead and find out what's at this location here. We have the Dark Herald, so you must already have completed three other tasks, and at least one location must not have any encounter cards. So he is going to be a little bit. I have to complete my other tasks first for his ability. So that was my ranged attack, and then I have one more I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and do a move action and move to a different location. So I'm going to move up here, and I'll take this water skin, adding it to my hands. And then her turn is done. So over to my archer to go. She is going to... I'm going to go ahead and play this one to gain another quiver and a, a do an attack. So I'm going to take this one. It's a seven. Oof, that's a big one. So do I want to waste these powerful bow or arrows on these low-level creatures? I think I'm going to pass and not do the attack. So then I'm going to move over to my guardian to go. So she is going to 
she's going to reveal and do a move action. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal at this location since I have my water spirit there. Ooh, that was a that's a that's a troll nasty. So I definitely want to handle him. And it gives me plus two at that location. So I will I'm going to go ahead and move her there as well. And then it's back over to my sorceress to go. So she has a couple of different cards now. So she's going to go ahead and play this one, lets her reveal two locations. So I'm going to do that middle action. So I will reveal this top one here. And I'll go ahead and reveal the one that she's at. Okay. All right, so that is the end of her turn. So over to my archer to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the action to do an attack with her on this guy here. As there are four enemies out, and she has a four. So he is defeated. And with his ability, again, it lets me choose another face down encounter card to reveal. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one here at this location. Nice, the bone branches. And that's an item, so I'm going to go ahead and do a free action to pick that up and add it to my hands. And then I'm going to do a free action to reveal this task. And we have Providence. So you must have more cards in your trophy gallery than all the encounter cards and task cards together at all six locations to complete this. And I definitely do not, as I only have three creatures in there so far. Over to my Guardian to go. So she is facing a troll. And... She does not have enough to defeat him at this point. So, let's see. What do I want to do? I'm going to go ahead and do her other action. Let her trade enemies at different locations. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch this guy here and that enemy there. Okay. Okay. Then it is back to my sorceress to go, and if she wants to do anything. Oof. Um, so, what does she want to do? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use the water skin, so that's going to be discarded completely. And this one lets me or gives me four movement points. So with that... I am going to move here and bring the archer over. So that's one for her. And then the archer is my second move. And then I will move here. And I'm going to bring the guardian with me. All right, so that is the end of her turn. So over to my archer to go. I am going to go ahead and use the bone branches, and this lets me, I can take the top face down encounter card from any location of your choice and remove it from the game without looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and spend that. It does give me a gold, so I'm going to place it in my gold pile, and I will take this one here and remove it from the game, and I do not look at it. All right, so that's the end of her turn. Over to my guardian. She is out of cards, so she has to do a hero revitalization. So we're going to handle the top narrator card, and it says, Is someone trying to use the tools in Wolfren's Forge? At least one creature is at work there. You're going to place one face up at location two. Ooh, it's a troll. And once again, a particularly powerful enemy takes possession of the throne room but you cannot see him. So I place one on location one. So that will cover up that troll there. And that gets discarded and I gain my cards back. My sorceress can go. She has just one card to play if she wants to. And I think she's gonna go ahead and do that. So she is going to be able to move two enemies to her location. So she's gonna move the troll first. And then she'll move this guy over. We have trolls everywhere. All right, over my archer, she has to do a hero revitalization. And she is out of cards as well. So at this point, it says that enemies have occupied all the important parts of the castle. From the outer tower, a creature gazes out across the terrain. Place one face up on location three. 
And that was to be expected. A powerful creature set up house in the throne room. One on face down. So the area one just continues to pile up. All right, so that is hers. And then it is over to my guardian to go. So now the card has been covered up, so she cannot attack anymore. This one here, this lets her, I'm going to go ahead and choose to do the one that I can reveal a card. So I'm going to reveal this one and a move action. So first off, I'm going to gain that to my hands and I am not going to move. So I'll just forget that other action. Moving back over to my sorceress, she has to do an narrator card as she is out of cards now. Well, let me see here. Before I look at that, I could do a trade action and give her the card I just pulled. So I think I'm going to do that. Let me see what I've got here first. So I have apple nuts. In exchange for one gold, you or your fellow players may pick up two already played cards back into your hand. So that is pretty handy. So she is going to pass that over, and my sorceress will go ahead and use that instead. And I have to spend this. So I'll place that over there. And then this one also goes over there, and I get to choose among the players who's going to gain what. So I'm going to go ahead and take one back. And then I'll let my guardian take one back as well. All right, over to my archer to go. She is in front of that nasty troll. She's going to play one where she gains a quiver. And I will take this one here. It's another six. I'm getting a lot of good numbers here. And then I can do an attack. So I'm going to go ahead and use the seven. And then I also get plus two from the water spirit, which is enough to defeat that troll. So he has been eliminated. And I gain a friend card. So I have the dwarf. So he is going to let me move the top card, top face down encounter card to my location. And now he is going to be part of my hand. All right, so over to my guardian to go. She is going to. She'll go ahead and play this one here and just do the attack on this guy so that is going to be enough to defeat him after victorious battle i gain a gold so i get to add that to my gold location back over to my sorceress to go she is going to she can play two spell books so that would give her seven and she's still a little short so she's going to ask my the other character there for help so she's going to play that one and she will use these two to complete that and defeat the troll. And then we get another friend. So we have the Sorcerer of Fire. So she would gain that. She could choose to give it to her other, her other companion if she wanted to as well. That is the end of her turn. So we're back over to my archer to go. And she will play. I'm gonna go ahead and play this one here. Let's me use one or two quivers. I'm just going to use one, and I'll do a six to defeat this guy, and one of his benefits to defeating him is that I gain a new quiver, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one, and it's a nine. Wow, it's got some powerful ones here. Okay, so that is the end of her turn. Over to my guardian to go. She has one card left, so let's see here. She can do, I'm going to do the move and reveal. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one at the archer's location. And then I can do a move. So I'm going to move down here. Back to my sorceress to go. She is going to go ahead and do this one. So the sorcerer friend card lets her, it says you may take the top two encounter cards from any location and turn both over at once and then return them to the location. Top two encounter cards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this one here. So these two are, and they stay in the same order. So revealing this one first and then that one second. So then they'll also go back on top of it. And that is her card. Back over to my archer to go. All right, I uh, will, 
I'm going to go ahead and do an attack. So that lets her do her attack of four. There are four enemies out, so she has defeated the Fluger. And it says, after victorious battle, I can turn over the top face down and counter card at any location. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll flip this one over here. Okay. So he's nasty. Okay, so then I'm going to do a free action to flip this over and reveal it. So we have the Drunken Troll. You must collectively have three friends. I'm close. I have two. So we just need one more in order to gain that. So my Guardian is next. She is out of cards completely. So again, she is going to have to do a narrator card. So the dungeon seems to be one of the preferred entry points for the interior of the castle. Soon another creature steps outside and approaches you. You cannot yet quite make out which type of disgusting being it is. Place one face down in location five. And then as if you hadn't guessed, one of the enemies is standing right in front of you. So she's going to place one. And it's a item. I love it. Nice. All right. So she gets her cards back. And she's going to go ahead and do that free action to take that right away and add it to her hands. Okay, back over to my sorceress. She is going to have to handle a narrator card as well. So with hers, it says, at the gatehouse, you can see shape, and it soon reveals itself one, on face, one face up at location six. Wasn't that a noise in Wolfram's Forge? You look through the window, but you cannot see anything one face down on location two. Okay, she gets all her cards back, and she gets to flip over all her spells. And finally over to the Archer, who has one friend card, so she is definitely going to play that, and that lets her pull a face-down encounter card to her location, so she's going to go ahead and do that. That way at least it buys us a turn, and maybe we can do something else in the meantime. I'm going to go ahead and play this one, and it lets me move my water spirit or flip her over so well maybe not maybe i should just do the attack and eliminate that gore that's there i think i'm going to do that so i'm going to go ahead and attack and defeat the gore he gives me a gold coin and it is over to my sorceress to go i'm going to go ahead and use the sorcerer and play do it at the archer's location so i can reveal the top two, and then place them back in the same order. Okay. And is over to my archer, so she has to hand a handle a narrator card. And it says, another creature is messing with the gatehouse. One face up at location six. And then the Reichberg Castle guards used to stand watch here on the outer tower. Now a creature patrols there. Location three face down. Okay. She gains her cards back. So I'm back over to my Guardian to go. All right, so the Guardian, what does she want to do? I will, I'm going to go ahead and do this one to reveal and move. So I'm going to reveal first. And... And then move. So I'm going to move over here and pick up that over to the sorceress to go so she's going to go ahead and play this one here lets her use two of her spells so she is going to do this one for a ranged attack and take out that gore at that location and then she is going to do this one to flip over a face down card Okay, over to my archer to go. I will play this one here, and that is going to, I'm going to take the top action, so I'm going to gain a quiver. It's a five, and then I'm going to go ahead and use that one right away. That was a good pull to defeat this guy here. So he is going to, it says, after a victorious battle, I receive one gold. All right, so she is done, and then it's back over to my guardian to go. Exchange for one gold, I may exchange one face-up task card of your choice, from and with one with the supply, I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and do this one here, and I'll take the middle action, 
and lets me move my water spirit, but I have to keep her in the same facing or I can flip her over. So I'm just going to keep her there and move her to that side. That is into her turn. So it's back to the sorceress to go. And so she is going to, she's going to go ahead and play this card here. And she's going to have my guardian pick up another one of her cards that she used. Back to my archer to go. And she's over there. She does have a six, so I could do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and play this one here to use one of my quivers to defeat him. And he gets me another quiver, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one here. It's a five. And we still have not gotten our third friend so we just need one more and then i can complete that task unfortunately we have not gotten that yet over to my guardian to go so she is going to she'll go ahead and play that card that she got back because we were going to do something with that so i'm going to switch positions with these two Yes, he has a really nasty ability, so I don't want to trigger that just yet. All right, back over to the sorceress. She has just one that she can do. There are four enemies out, so the fluger is a four, so she'll go ahead and do this one on the attack and defeat him. All right, then the troll is left. Over to my archer to go, so she is going to... She's going to just play the Dwarf. You can play a friend and not use their ability, but it simply is a placeholder. So she's going to go ahead and do that. And then it's over to my Guardian to go. And she is going to play the shield. It's going to cost one gold. So I'll remove that. And it says, in exchange for one gold, you may fight a creature at any location with 10 strength points. So that'll defeat the troll, eliminating him. And then I will gain a new friend card. So I have the Guardian of the Watchful Woods. You get either a willpower point or a quiver. So that's a nice card. And then that goes away. Okay. And at this point, I might actually have enough to meet Providence as well. So I might work at trying to handle that possibly. All right, back over to my character here. She is out of cards, so she has to handle a narrator card. So with hers, it's going to have a face down on location five. Well, there goes that. And it says, it must be a fearsome creature whose eyes you feel on the back of your neck. You just cannot make it out yet. And another one on her location face down. All right, that takes care of that. And she gains hers back along with all of her... All right, back to my archer. So she is going to handle the d drunken dwarf, or troll, as he is a face-up task card and it's a free action. So we do have our three collective friends. So we have completed our first task. So I'll place that up here. All right, then she has to play a card. So she's gonna go ahead and do this one. And she's gonna go ahead and choose this bottom one to let her move three spaces. So she's gonna move up here first and reveal this task as a free task. And it says, first select two creatures from your trophy gallery and shuffle them and place them back face down on this task card. So I have to choose two that I wanna put back. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here. And I will, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other troll as it's always good to have extra friend cards. So then I have to shuffle these up. Okay, and that goes down. And then I'm going to move over here. And I think that's it. I don't think I really want to move her anywhere else. All right, so she is done. It is over to my guardian to go. And so with the Guardian, she's going to play this one here. It lets her gain a willpower point. 
and then it is back over to my sorceress to go. So I'm going to go ahead and use her friend right away, and that'll let her flip over the cards so we can see what comes up. So we have the troll and then the fluger. Over to my archer. She is out of cards, so she does have to do a narrator card. And so we have the hordes ha that have invaded the, gu the guard house, a gatehouse as well. So one face up on location six. And suddenly one of your adversaries is standing across from you and it comes right up close to you. So one face up on your location. So an item. I'll take that, definitely. And she gets her cards back. Over to my guardian. I still have this. I can exchange one gold to switch out the different task cards. So there's quite a bit here at this point. So... I am going to hold on to it and risk the narrator card. So let's see what we get here. So times the times of exuberant celebrations in the throne room are past. Now a creature has taken up a seat there. So one on location one. And here is where iron used to glow. Wolfren's Forge was where the finest swords were crafted. Now it is nothing more than a hiding place for one of the creatures. So I place one on location two. All right, so then she gains all her cards back. Moving back over to my sorceress to go. She is, she's got an enemy in her space. And she's got some other stuff going on too. So let's see here. Well, let's go ahead and just start off easy and I'll do just one. So I'm gonna use this one here to defeat this enemy here. All right, over to my archer. She's going to go ahead and pick up that telescope. And might I don't want to use that just yet. I'm going to use it soon, but not just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and spend this card here, and I'm going to go ahead and do an attack. It lets me gain a quiver, so I'm going to go on to this side, and it's a 7. All right, and then I get to do an attack, so I'm going to spend that 9. Well, actually, I'm going to spend the 7, since I get plus 2 for... The water guardian that's there so i'll go ahead and defeat that troll and gain another friend card so we have the fire warrior i can pay him and then he can do an attack all right so it's her turn is done so then it is over to my guardian to go all right so i'm going to go ahead and use this one here and that will let me do an attack and then also do my water guardian so i will go ahead and attack the skeleton first now he has a special ability I have to spend a coin in order to defeat him. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then he has been defeated. And then my water guardian, I'm simply going to move her over to that location there. Back over to my sorceress to go. She has some stuff to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of her two spells. I'm going to go ahead and do a flip location. So I'm going to choose this one here. And it's the Gorlet. And then my second one, I will do uh, her move. And I'm going to move the Guardian up to her location. Okay, so then it is over to my Archer to go. So my Archer has some choices here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Telescope at this point. So it's going to cost... And it's not going to cost anything, and I'm going to take a look. So I'm going to take a look at this one and see what we have. So this is Brendor's Honor Guard. You are allowed to have no more than four encounter cards at each of the six locations. Ugh. So I actually am pretty close to that. I've only got a couple on each one. It's this one that might get me. One, two, three, four. Actually, I have enough. So if I can clear that, or at least get rid of that enemy, that would be really handy. All right, so that is her turn. So over to my guardian to go. She's going to go ahead and play this. And that lets her flip an encounter card over. So I'll go ahead and do this one. And then I will also flip over my guardian to her times two side. Over to my sorceress to go. She's going to go ahead and play this one for the middle action and let me regain one of my cards. Over to the archer. She's going to go ahead and play this one here. 
and use her middle ability to let her turn over a card face down. Over to my guardian, I will now play this card. And this, because of my water spirit's ability, it's going to multiply my attack. So I'm going to be attacking at 10. So that'll defeat the troll. And I get another friend card. So I have picked up the Traveling Tim. All right. And he, I can choose, uh, I can turn over one task card of your choice. There's only one left, but that's the friend card. So he'll help me not have to use a narrator card. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and pass him straight over to the Sorceress for her turn so that she has a card. As I don't have anything else that would help her at this point. Yeah, nothing yet. So with the Sorceress, she's going to go. She'll go ahead and use that card right away and flip over this one. And so we have Rufus, the Plunderer from the Riverlands. You must pay for encounter cards in the Throne Room. Location 1. One gold for each face-up creature, and two gold for uh, each face-down encounter card. Okay, so not terrible. There's only one face-up, so it only costs me one gold to defeat him when it comes time. So her turn is done. Over to my archer to go. She is going to... She'll go ahead and play the friends and pay his cost to attack. So he does a five, so that's going to defeat... This guy, which it says after Victorious Battle, I can remove the top face down encounter card without looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. As we already know what that one is, eliminating it, and then he gets removed. So at that point, then I'm going to go ahead and do a free action to handle this guy. And the throne room only has one creature, so I'm going to only have to pay one gold because he's face up. And that'll defeat my second task. Alright, over to my... Guardian there, she is going to she is going to attack with her four, which actually bumps it up to eight, which is more than enough to handle him. So that defeats him. And then the Fluger lets me flip over a face up or face down encounter card. So I might as well do it at this location. And then he has been eliminated. And then with this one, now I can do a free action. It says, I must remove all the encounters cards from this task card, which I have. That'll complete that one. So that is my third task. I just have one more. So her turn is done. Back over to my sorceress. She is out of cards now, so she has to do a narrator card. And so we have the outer tower is a nice point of attraction for the creatures as well. But just then, there appears one, so we have a new one on location three. Of course, the one location I could get to. And you never would have imagined that this kind of creature would have shown up in Wolfren's Forge, one, on one face down in location two. So she gets hers back. All right, and over to my archer to go. My archer has just two cards left. And she's going to go ahead and do the dwarf and not do his action. Moving over to my guardian, let's see what she has here. So I have a couple of options. Nothing's really going to help too much, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one there. It lets me gain a willpower point. Back over to my sorceress to go. She is going to... Okay, so she's going to do this one here, and that'll let her use two of her cards, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one for a move action. So I'm going to move her over here, and then I'm going to do an attack action to defeat the Gorlet. Let's me do, let's me move, but I don't think I'm going to. So then Providence says that I must have more cards in your trophy pile than all the encounter and task cards together, all six locations. So right now, I have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, so I have way more than enough. So I have completed the fourth and final task that I needed to. And I did it just in time as I only had one narrator card left and I was getting close to having to use it. I could have probably delayed a couple more turns, but it was getting right down to the wire there. 
So I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, or if you noticed that I did anything wrong, let me know in those comments section below. I love hearing from you guys and hearing if I make mistakes or whatnot. Uh, it's just fun as I play through, of course, everybody catches different things. I did my best as always to play through as accurately as possible, but every once in a while I do make mistakes as well. So let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, if you like these playthroughs where I kind of talk you through what I'm doing and give you a little bit more on the game. And if so, which other games would you like to see me covering, whether it's games that I've already played or other games that I've done teaching videos on or whatnot, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it, and I take into account everything you guys say to make the best possible videos. And until next time, I'll see you later.